This is a diagram of the Earth's crust at a convergent plate boundary. We have two continents coming together, represented by these arrows, and you can see that the mountain range forms in between the two of them. Now what you may not notice right away is that there's something going on underneath, or something going on in the background, if you will. And that is that the originally igneous rocks, right, continental crust we know is granitic, when we have two pieces of crust that collide, the individual rocks within them are forced together with a great amount of pressure. So what we actually have here is a type of metamorphism that we call regional metamorphism. And you can remember that it's different from co contact or thermal metamorphism because you can see that it's a whole region, right? Regional. It's an entire mountain range region. Everywhere where there's deformation in the crust, so, you know, up to these margins around here, we're going to see some degree of metamorphism. Now that's a basic definition, but something else that's good to know is that down here, in the root of the mountain, if you will, it's hot. Why is it hot? Because it's closest to the mantle. As you go deeper in the crust, you get hotter and hotter until you reach the mantle. So it's hot in there, and what else do we know about it? Well, if we take a look at where it is relative to the rest of it, or relative to the to surrounding formations, we can see that there's a relatively great amount of confining pressure, right? If you were to take this point here, there's going to be a pretty strong force down on it by everything that's overlain on top of it. So because there's all this mountain on top of this point here, or an even greater amount down at the very bottom, maybe it's more like that, versus over here, there's very little on top of it. The confining pressure is going to be very small. So over here, it's hot and we have the greatest amount of pressure. And you'll recall that metamorphism is based on what? Heat and pressure. So at this region here, if we are to just sort of circle it, maybe in the root of the mountain, this is where there is the greatest metamorphism. You will have the highest grade of metamorphic rock. Maybe you'll find some gneiss in there or something. Meanwhile, at other locations, let's say out on these edges, let's take them. I already drew the confining pressure. There's very little confining pressure, and as you can tell, it's relatively shallow within the Earth's crust. So it's going to be relatively cold. It's cold on the edges. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you have low pressures and low temperatures, which means you're overall going to have the least amount of metamorphism out here, least on the margins. And finally, what about, what about the top here? So we know that as you get closer and closer to the center here, you should be seeing greater and greater amounts of metamorphism and thus higher and higher grade of metamorphic rocks. But what about at the top here? Well, obviously at the top, the temperature is definitely not going to be that great. But one thing is for certain, and that's that while there's not a lot of confining pressure, right, because at the very tip of the mountain, there's very little on top. There's going to be very little confining pressure represented by that tiny arrow. But right here is at the center of the compression, right? Which means that the forces acting against each other in these two directions, the compressional forces are going to be greatest. Meanwhile, out here, they're very small, once again, because you're on the margins. You're a greater distance from the center. So here, the confining pressure and the compressional forces are much smaller. But here, at the very least, you have great compressional forces, which means you're going to have some high-grade and medium-grade metamorphic rocks, things that you would expect to find under high pressures and low temperatures. So it's hard to say, uh, you know, we can't really write, I don't want to call it greatest or least, because it varies depending on the exact amount of pressures. But this you'll generally see as an intermediate up at the top of the mountains, right? Because although it's not hot like, a, like it is at the root closest to the mantle, it does have strong amounts of compressional pressures 
that cause a lot more metamorphism. So that's a brief look at regional metamorphism. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it was informative, otherwise good review. And I will see you later.